Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use your Oculus Quest 1 or 2 and potentially future Quest versions as well. So it could be potentially even Quest 3, or whatever they call it, and now we call it Quest Go, Quest Galaxy, to connect you up to your Windows machine so you can use it on Steam VR. So what is the benefit of doing that? This is a self-contained headset. It's got all the hardware built in here. But that also means it's limited in terms of graphics. Don't get me wrong, they are fantastic. I, I think I was pleasantly surprised. This is my favorite VR headset and I own a Valve Index and have owned a few other ones as well. But just the versatility and what it generally does provide is amazing. But if you want that extra experience and you don't want to buy a Rift S or you don't want to buy a, a Valve Index or a HTC Vive, if you've already got a Quest 1 or 2, you can connect this using Oculus Link. I've got a separate video, so feel free to check that out. It'll be linked in the description of how to actually set up Oculus Link. So I'm not really going to be covering that too much in here. So you can use Steam VR. And so there's a couple of things you need to download. There's Steam. And if you go to the install website, I'll provide the link. Just click install. It's a pretty straightforward process. Just will install it log into your account which i have already done i've already, you know, already got it and the other thing you will need is the oculus software so if we just do oculus rift software we will need that because essentially it's going to emulate it's going to act as using the oculus link connection you can even use the official link cable or what i've got is an ancap plus a U green extension lead it will act as an oculus rift headset and will be able to map it using virtual desktop to steam vr and it works fantastic so if you just download that again just install in normal process and i've already got it installed right here so what you want to do in here go to settings go to general and in here enable unknown sources by default you'll have something along these lines and if you do that it, the benefit of doing this is not a requirement but the benefit is when we connect this headset in the Oculus Rift side of things, in the apps menu, once you've used Steam VR once, the logo, the icon will appear there. The benefit is you don't have to go through the rigmarole of using virtual desktop to launch it. You can just use the icon. So it just makes things a little bit easier. So now we're actually ready to connect this up. So if we was to connect it up, again, I've got a separate video covering all the stuff in terms of Oculus Link. So if I was to, put, I'm going to put this headset on. And in here it says, allow access to data and click allow. Then it will pop up, actually for me say no guardian found. So let me just quickly read the guardian and confirm, switch to stationary boundary, confirm. Okay, so it's saying enable Oculus Link. I'm going to click enable. So now, it is showing me the Oculus Rift interface. And um, one second, it's still just loading. Just take a few seconds to load. Okay, it has now loaded. Now let me actually show you what I'm seeing. So if I go to oculusnoah.exe. There you go, so you can see exactly what I'm seeing there. So in here, so make sure your Steam is launched up and we all want to activate that, but not yet. So in the actual, ooh, that was close. Uh, yeah, you can see it. So in here, so I think we are in the Oculus Rift side of things now. Go down to here and you want to go to virtual desktop. You can click it or I'm just going to trigger it using the A button. And uh, do, 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 do. what can you see? You can still see this. So now what you want to do is you will actually stop seeing what I'm seeing, but you want to go to Steam, still in the headset, and then go to the VR icon in the top right and click that. As you can see, it is preparing to, to launch Steam VR. And now this is loading up. Let me see if I can still 
see if the mirror still works. Like the mirror will still work. Let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. It still works. So there we go. We have the Steam VR now launch. It is just launching into home. Just wait a few seconds for this to occur. And but that is it. That's it. And you'll see when we get into Steam VR's home section, we'll be able to launch all our Steam VR games. And obviously we can also launch the Oculus games as well. So we got these Oculus game like Lone Echo and Oculus First Contact. We've also got some Steam VR game like Aperture Hand Lab. The main one that everyone was waiting for is Half-Life Alex. Squadrons is also on my Steam account. ILM X Lab is also on there. No Man's Sky, Wolfenstein, Cyber Pilot, Star Trek Bridge Crew, and a bunch of other games. So there you go. That is all you have to do. Now from here, you know, you can obviously pull navigate around and using the oculus quest 2 headset it looks fantastic because it is a newer headset than most other high-end de you know high-end desktop headsets and it has a nice really crisp high resolution you can still see what i'm seeing that's good stuff and i could launch up alex if i wanted to or lone echo or something else it's that simple i would just literally like go onto that click launch i'm not going to launch it but that's it it is that simple to use your i'm actually going to disconnect the headset now so i've disconnected it now so that's what's happened because i disconnected i and click quit steam vr it's that simple to use the oculus quest one or two to play steam vr which allows you to play great games like half-life alex you can play stuff like boneworks as well and get that real high-end experience outside of the oculus ecosystem so that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message so feel free to check out my video on how to set up oculus link that is very important for this feel free to check out that my other videos as well but if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next vr video